All right, today we are with Brian from Current in LA, and you brought this fantastic uh, Chevy. Tell us everything we need to know about it. Yeah, this is our uh, 57 Chevy Bel Air, a um, little bit of a lowrider inspired. We are oh, from yeah. Los Angeles. Um, it was originally a restoration from the 90s, but it had been completely forgotten. The paint was near dead and the interior was, was shot when we got it. So we had a quick conversation before, but you're pretty much the only one to do electric conversion and low riders at Correct. the same time. So it's yeah. a niche within the niche. Yeah. It's a fantastic opportunity to show what you've done because you've completely rebuilt the car. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll we have a look uh, real quick underneath. But uh, first of all, tell us where you are and how you start the business. Yeah. So uh, we're in uh, Los Angeles, um, uh, current electric vehicles. We... Um, uh, specialize in custom customizing, restoring, and electrifying classic cars. Okay. Um, mostly focused on you know the old school American muscle, but we've done um, Ferraris and 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 <laughs> some international Scouts and things like so that. So a, a bit of everything. And what was really impressive, you've built several cars already. Yeah. Uh, but you only started the company not even two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're about a year and a half old. Um, started the company based on a suggestion from my daughter who wanted us to electrify uh, uh, this car. So we did a bit of research um, early on, found out that there wasn't a ton of options for doing it. And, you know, one thing led to another. And about a year after that, we're in SEMA 2021 or 2022 and uh, started a, uh, this company a few months later. So if you can't buy it, you build it. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So, as I was saying, you fully restored the whole car. It looks fantastic. And yep. I've noticed a few integration from the electric system. Yeah. Um, but let's have a look at the system itself. So could you show us the battery pack front and back? Yeah, sure. You custom build the air suspension. So, yeah. what's the base air suspension system? Uh, it's Ride Tech, okay. uh, Ride Tech uh, air suspension, uh, four link in the back. We pulled out the old leaf springs, um, put. Uh, uh, Airbags in the front and rear, okay. obviously. So um, how long did it take to build the whole car? Not only the restoration, we, but the conversion to electric and the... It was about six to eight months. Wow, um, so was it full time? Off. Yeah, no, on and off, six on to eight months. On and off. Yeah. Okay, you're not messing about. <laughs> yeah. All right, what have we got here? Yeah, so this is... Um, the, the car has a 65 kilowatt hour pack. This is a 40 kilowatt hour, and then there's 25 kilowatt hour in the front that we'll okay. see in a minute. Um, all custom battery packs. We uh, import modules from a partner overseas and then uh, build the, uh, the battery boxes ourselves. They're all water cooled, um, you know, uh, take all the appropriate safety measure measures, yeah. things like that. And then obviously a with, boom box, uh, a boom box <laughs> you got to have some, yeah. uh, some base in, uh -huh. in Los Angeles. So we'll give it a try afterwards. Uh, yeah. Let's see what's in the front. Yeah. So that's quite a surprise because there is a V8 underneath. <laughs> so let's have a look. Yeah. yeah, it's a rather large V8. Yeah. <coughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's an electric V8, I guess. Yeah. How would yeah. you call this? So uh, well, we call it a V0. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually no no cylinders. Yeah. So this is a cast aluminum bat. Uh, um, battery box. Yeah. We have a friend named Chris Webb of Webb Motorworks mm -hmm. up in Canada. Canada yeah. He hand makes these uh, these uh, molds, um, has them cast aluminum, and then sends them to us, and we weld them up, paint them, polish them, and put components inside them. So, so is it something you you do on all your builds, or is it a we do it based request? on yeah based on request? Okay. Um, you know, um, not everybody wants the uh, this type of aesthetic, yeah. um, but uh, the, for the people that do, you know, the, this is what we do. And this is filled with batteries from the front to about, you know, the, the rear two thirds okay. is all batteries. We have electronic components in the back, the inverter and things like that. Battery management system is right under nice. here. Nice, yeah. And then there's two cooling loops in the vehicle. We have a motor cooling loop, battery cooling loop, and then obviously power steering. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, tell us more about the the rest of the system. So charger, yeah. converter. Yeah, so we're using a DeLong charger, six kilowatt hour. Okay. Um, we have plans for uh, NACS. There's a, yes. a, a company we're working with to to get fast charging in all of our builds. Yeah, so because uh, it's water cool, it's pretty much ready to yeah, be CCS. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and uh, it's a, a IM225 essentially, although uh, 
It's the same motor and inverter as an IM225, so SS250, okay. the Cascadia motion. Do you tend to use Cascadia on yeah. the new build? Yeah, yeah. We, we prefer to use new um, new stuff, yeah. stuff that comes with a warranty, rather than pulling out of salvage yeah. cars. Not, not to say anything bad about the Tesla motors, they're fantastic, yeah. but... Um, you know, for what we're doing, we kind of like to use the, the newer stuff. So what is current business model? You do full cars? Will you be offering yeah, conversion so, systems? So we, uh, so our first year of business, we were focused on just building awesome cars. We have a, we have a few customers. We have, um, uh, I'll just say it's a, it's a very interesting car coming out probably uh, mid next year to uh, 2024. About the time uh, we'd visit you again. Yeah, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but the the whole process of the first year was to learn as much about okay. the EV conversion process um, and the shortcomings therein, and then um, continue building cars, but also start building products and electronics and things okay. like that to to make that process better. So we're currently working on, um, you know, some st things like VCUs, um, LED light controllers. Um, uh, Touch screen switches. Uh, okay. We've got we've got a lot of stuff. So you mentioned your daughter was an inspiration yeah. for this build. Uh, does she work with you at the company? And how many guys do you have in, in the business? Yeah. So she she. I mean, it is a family business. So the family contributes in in a lot of the ways. The guy behind the camera right there is <laughs> my brother in law. Um, we uh, uh, we're we're a small team, six people, but we are an interest, very interesting. I, I feel like we we set ourselves apart from most of the conversion companies because we all have engineering backgrounds. So I have a software engineering background. Um, we have electrical engineers on staff, so we can yeah. build our and design our own electronics. We have mechanical engineers on staff, so we can, you know, do the mechanical side of things. And we have the whole old school hot rod builder uh, that you know has been fabricating. Uh, metalworks in his backyard for 50 years so so do you think that's the best recipe to start a business uh, today this yeah, type of yeah, business yeah, for sure yeah yeah all right um, anything else we should and I, I notice on the dashboard you have a digital dashboard in yeah so this is all digital yeah so this is one of our custom things here it takes a little bit to turn it on here. okay um, but well it's turning on the uh, the paint is the original color. It's called Matador Red, even wow. though it is very much orange. Yeah. <laughs> um, the interior uh, we got from a company in in um, uh, Phoenix uh, called Ciadelis, and they focus on Tri Five and like and and Chevy type interior. So this is as close as you could get. Yeah, yeah. This this is actually a factory like um, like how how it would have looked coming out of the yeah. factory in 1957. Wow. Uh, only real big difference we did is I put a 59 um, uh, steering wheel from a 59 Impala in it. Um, and then you can see what's our, the reason of the steering wheel. I, I just, you know what? Oh, I just like, like the way they look. Yeah, yeah. And and I wanted a 13 inch steering wheel. We put uh, power oh, yeah, steering yeah, yeah, yeah. in it. Might as well. Yeah. And then that's our one of our one of the products that we're building is the uh, the digital dash okay. um, display. This one was is modeled to look. Uh, uh, just like the original uh, speedometer would have looked. And it gives you all the information about the state of charge, you know, obviously how fast the car is going, temperatures and, uh, you know, whatever telemetrics you need. What's coming next for this and for the business? Um, there, so for this, like I said, I want to put fast charging on it. There's some finishing touches under the hood that we want to do and some stuff in the trunk, but largely this one's close to done. Okay. We've been doing like the low rider circuit uh, with this car. Um, uh, Has it been uh, winning uh, trophies and awards? We, we've won an award at wow. every single uh, every single <laughs> event that we've been to. Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what we should do is lower everything so we can still have a very nice view of the car. So sure. if you could drop yeah. it all down. What was the main challenges in, in converting this? Obviously, you have a lot of room, but you might find other issues. Um, you know, uh, finding um, finding uh, places to put batteries yeah. on these old cars is the biggest... Uh, I mean, you had a big V8 back in the day, yeah. so you would think there is a lot of room, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, but with just the batteries up there, this thing would have maybe gotten 75 miles of range. Okay. So I put the thing in the back and we're closer to 150, uh, uh, 200, 200 miles of range. So 
imagine when you have CCS on this, you can actually go cross country. Oh, and yeah. Even think twice about oh, it. Oh, yeah. 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 And yeah. That's kind of the dream. My wife and I want to take it from where we live in Los Angeles, drive up to Santa Barbara, and have lunch nice. and while it's charging, yeah. and then drive home. So, would this be a five seater or six seater? I mean, I've gotten all six of my family in it. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, and maybe we'll have a look once you put it back. Obviously, it started raining, but yeah, yeah it looks fantastic. Uh, if you like uh, what you see, well, where should those guys visit you? Is it current.com? Yeah, so current-la.com is our website. Uh, you can check us out there. We have, thing, we have tools for uh, checking what the range of your vehicle might be if you wanted to do a conversion. Also, just uh, a simple tool for putting together a quote and so you can get an idea of price yourself. Also keeps you up to date with the projects that we're working on. Uh, we're also pretty big on Instagram. We do uh, our our Instagram handle is uh, current dot Los Angeles. Okay, and we've just done a photo shoot for the EV Builders guys. Yep. So uh, check out the magazine very soon. Thank you very much, Brian. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you. Yeah.